The biggest misconception you have about basic science research in India is that it does not pay you any money whether you are doing PhD or a job. The salaries are not much and the job opportunities are very few. So most of us are fascinated by IITs and other technological institutions for industrial opportunities. What if I tell you there are institutes in India that not just have world class research facilities but placement opportunities where average package stays from 18 to 24 lakh per annum and the highest package go to 1 crore per annum in top companies across the world such as BCG, McKinsey, Barclays and American Express. Yes, you heard it right. I am talking about ISI, Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata and CMI, Chennai Mathematical Institute. Recently, we made a short video on ISI and you all put huge demands for a full video and here I am today going to break down for you the eligibility criteria, the courses, the entrance examination and most importantly the placement opportunities for both of these institutions. So stay tuned till the end of this video because you will be getting to know lots of information which you might have not known before watching this. So let's get started and see what we have got here. Inside ISI and CMI, the IITs for pure science. So just like the reputation IITs have for BTEC courses, ISI and CMI has for pure science, especially mathematics and data science. Now, ISI actually where data science was actually born in India. So it was established by a famous statistician and an economist. So Prashant Chandra Maharaj Boys actually uh, established ISI in 1931 and it revolutionized especially not just in India but actually the southeastern India part as well, the statistics and data science. So it was started to operate under Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation and Government Institute transform how India measures, analyzes and understands data. So it has campuses in Kolkata, Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Tezpur in North India. The specializations are statistics, mathematics, data science, computer science and economics, right? So it's a very unique ecosystem. So just imagine about IITs where you have computer science, chemical science, material science, electronics, electrical, so on, various of the degrees that you can put to use to solve industrial problems. So ISI is a place where you can actually use and research about the theory and implement immediately with the use of economics, data modeling, statistics, what's the use of it? It can be put to use to solve various industrial problems. Have you heard about global economic recession? Right now the world is on the verge of having another one. Statisticians actually, they study, they put their tools to analyze about global economy, recession, risk analysis, market acquisitions and all these. This is called actuarial science. If you are interested about that, let us know in the comment. I'll give you a heart. So this is what ISI is all about. Of course, the academic programs range from bachelor's to master's to PhD going beyond that as well. So in undergraduation, you have bachelor's of statistics and bachelor's of mathematics, BSTAT and BMAT. So BSTAT is mostly useful for analytical mind. So what do I mean is, let's say you have this tendency to sit on a problem and start thinking on it for hours, right? And you have this ability to gather insights from that problem. Let's say I've been given a problem, I can sit on it, I can break down in different parameters, metrics, and after one to two hours, I can gather uncommon insights out of it. So that is called analytical mind. You can develop models, you can put different tools to use. So if you like that kind of study, then of course, Bachelor of Statistics is good because you will be having lots of numbers, lots of models, lots of tools. So yeah, it will be messy, but the insights that you will be taking out will be useful for everyone related to that study. Now, if you like pure theories, you are actually interested about the mathematics, the theories, the principles, the phenomena. So bachelors of mathematics is for you. You like calculus, you like real analysis, you like topology, you like geometry, then this is the course for you. Of course, it is given in Bangalore as well as Kolkata campus. Now, in postgraduate degree, similar lines, you have MSTAT, MMath and MTech programs related to computer science, cryptology and quantum information science. So can you see that it has relevance not just in mathematics, computer science, but applied fields such as ranging from in quantum information to computer science and going as far as biotechnology as well. Yes, people do biotech as well in ISI. But yeah, before that, having spoken of quantum computing or quantum information, so if you want to make or build a career related to quantum technology, any field adjacent to that, 
we have already made a full video on that. You can check out start your journey towards building a quantum computing career. But talking about research, there are PhD programs as well related to qualitative and quantitative fields, right? So qualitative disciplines with world-class research groups. So ISI is the place for you if you look to pursue a career related to around mathematics, of course, industrial as well as academic. Now, the ISI admission is definitely a challenge. Less than 0.1% of people actually make it to the institute. The fees is very low. There are stipends for almost everyone. So this is the place for you. But Class 12th completion with exceptional mathematical ability should be there. What do I mean is you will know soon. So a direct admission process is there for IMO, International Maths Olympiad and INMO qualifiers. If you don't know what IMO, INMO means, we have already made a full video on Olympiad. So you can check that out. We have broken down in detail. This is the main part, the admission test. It happens every year in the month of May, the ISI admission test. It has two sections. First one is objective. Another one is descriptive or subjective part. Both given for around two hours. The first one has around 30 questions, four marks each. So 120 marks. Second one has around nine questions. Some of them are optional. So the total marks is 120 again. So 120 for the subjective and 120 for the objective gives you a sum of 240 for the total paper. This ISI admission test actually evaluates your problem solving abilities and mathematical maturity as we call it, right? Because you'll be actually sitting in the exam hall for two hours solving those questions, writing the proofs. So that does take lots of effort. After the examination, you have an interview process as well. So if you clear the written examination, there is a cutoff. Yeah, and after the subsequent interview, you are offered admission by ISI. Okay, that too with very low fees. If you need post-graduation programs like Masters of Statistics or Science, MSTAT, MMath or MTech degrees, then you need to have already your bachelor's in Maths, Statistics, Economics or Engineering. So pretty much everything is going to work here if you have done your bachelor's around Mathematics. Let's see what we have got more. This is what the ISI entrance examination paper is going to look like. This is one uh, snapshot of a paper that I pasted here. These are some of the questions. You can take a close look if you want to help let me know in the comment as well you need to have practiced questions mock tests yeah it's it's not that easy not that hard either but if you have practiced to a decent level i'll be talking about that in the later part of the video how can you practice what sorts of resources you can follow and how can you make your journey to uh, isi and cmi by the way if you want these papers and couple more then uh, you can find that in the free material section of siasta app so go download the application right now if you're preparing for je advanced iat nest those will be taken care of if you are at the level of ISI entrance examinations question paper, right? So it's as simple as that. Let's see uh, about the career outcomes. I've already told you that in the recent years, the packages are going as high as 1.2 crore per annum from ISI Kolkata. Uh, this 89 lakh was from a couple of years ago. Average package stays from 20 to 25 to 30 lakhs per annum, depending on what field have you complete your studies in. Bachelors, Masters, B Math, B Stat, and 100 plus global opportunities or companies related to various domain come to hire from ISI Kolkata. You know why? Because they have the right set of expertise. ISI has produced talents over the years right, who go on across the world to pursue top positions in finance, banking, actuarial science, statistics, economics. These are the people who are creating the actual impact throughout the world, not just in India, through their mathematical, statistical knowledge and skills. So this is the place you want to be at if you want to work at companies like Google, Amazon, Goldman Sachs, recently I know one of my friends from CMI who has been recruited by Goldman Sachs at a very lucrative package. So Wells Fargo, uh, D.E. Shaw and quantitative trading firms. By the way, if you don't know what quant finance or quant trading is, that is the field where people involved actually make the most amount of money in any career path. If you don't know if or if you know about that, let me know in the comment. People actually make crores of rupees. There is workload, I understand, but uh, people working for eight, 10 years, they accumulate significant amount of wealth in quant trading companies. Many people work in Singapore, Hong Kong, Gurgaon, New York, and other financial capitals uh, of, of different set of countries across the world, right? So this is definitely fascinating. There are DeepMind, Microsoft Research, RBI, you know, Reserve Bank of India, 
and people who don't want to do jobs, they go on to pursue their PhD at elite universities in the world such as MIT, Harvard, Cambridge, Oxford and similar places for similar positions. And they also subsequently are offered very lucrative jobs by top companies across the world. So these are the institutes. Of course, you need to love mathematics and numbers. You need to have built expertise around this whole area. But the rewards are really very high. Trust me, believe me, you have my word for it. And let me know in the comments. Of course, let's make it interactive if you are interested or inclined by that, right? So uh, these are about the elite recruiters and destinations across the world, top companies, in short. Now, life at ISI Kolkata, I would definitely say it's a paradise for mathematical research. So you have uh, various clubs, mathematics clubs, coding clubs, societies, literary discussions. This creates a holistic environment and uh, curiosity actually drives learning in small proportions all these involvements actually contribute to your bigger placement as well as academic journey. So the hostel accommodation is completely free. Can you imagine there is no institute in India which gives you free hostel accommodation in under graduation, right? And monthly stipend from 3000 to 5000 for all students on the campus. There is absolutely no financial barrier. You just have to be in love with mathematics and uh, hardworking. That's the only two criteria for you to be here and sustain and come out with flying colors. This is about the Tejpur campus, it's beautiful. Yes, so that is about the ISI. Now, let's move on to another mathematical legendary campus, Chennai Mathematical Institute. And I'm very excited to talk about that because I personally love this campus, although it's a private college, but the fees is very low. There are stipends to almost every other student and the placement opportunities are very vivid and fantastic, right? So I'm going to talk about this. Now, it was founded in 1989, right? It's a private research and educational institute dedicated to advancing pure maths, theoretical computer science, and fundamental physics. The best part about CMI is different conglomerates actually come out in support uh, of the foundation and they started funding CMI actively. And since then, it has been receiving huge amounts of funds from various giants such as Infosys, Tata Trust, and Government of India. And that is the reason CMI has actually world-class facilities and resources in all of these fields. Of course, the education is elite and very focused and precise implementation in the domains of computer science, physics, as well as mathematics. The batch consists of 70 students, roughly. Why roughly? I'll talk more because there are different admission channels and uh, CMI maintains exceptionally selective learning environment where faculty to student ratios is very, very high. This is about the admission pathways, programs and admission pathways. Undergraduates, you have, again, BS and MS. So BS in physics, maths and computer science, multiple routes. The first one is entrance examination, just like in ISI we have. We also have another examination in CMI. Two are examinations asking objective questions plus subjective questions. The pattern is pretty much similar. The difficulty level of questions are also similar to ISI. And special quota route is via GE Advanced and Olympiads, right? So if you are in class 10th, or 11th and you're interested about these institutes, this is the time to get serious because if you qualify Olympiads to a good level, you have direct admission opportunities from ISI and CMI. Okay, so exceptional performers with INMO or J Advance, they can be given direct entry into CMI without having to appear in the entrance examination. How amazing is that? And for post-graduation as well, you have maths, CS, data science. So placements happen in both UG and PG. We're going to talk more. Now, ISI versus CMI, these institutions are actually mathematical greatness. ISI and CMI, one is government, one is private, one is very old, one is comparatively newer, but equally reputed. One focuses on stats and pure maths, another focuses on CS and physics as well in addition to mathematics. Now, uh, admission process is via entrance examinations and Olympiad entry. The average package is 20 to 24 to 30 lakhs per annum in ISI as opposed to 18 to 24 lakhs in CMI, right? One is in Kolkata, another is in Chennai. The highest package from both of the institutes pretty much go as high as 1 crore per annum. Internships are also offered to students from both institutes with very lucrative stipends, 1 to 2 to 3 lakh per month. Now, one important point for you to take from this video, if IITs build engineers, ISI and CMI build thinkers and innovators, okay? The architects of mathematical theory, the pioneers of data science, physics, 
computer science and philosophers of logic right and these are the people who eventually go on to build top ai companies algorithms work at global firms trading firms companies like meta google amazon blackrock d shaw so on so forth and by the way if you're thinking how to prepare for the entrance examinations of isi and cmi then of course siasta is there with you you can check out the aryabhatta batch by siasta where you'll be getting lectures problem sets mock tests discussions doubt clearing groups and many more you will be guided by mentors who have already qualified these entrance examination if you have any further questions or queries let me know in the comments below or you can also contact science the support team we can reach out to you by the way if you want to know about uh, isert's similar research institutes like isi cmi but not just in mathematics but pretty much all disciplines with very low fees stipends and world class research facilities you can watch this video and if you have liked this video about isi cmi and please hype this video because it will motivate us to make more such content for you i hope you like this see you in the next video all the best mm -hmm.